obviously a tough day in Cincinnati as Burrow again kind of went off and, and had an unbelievable day against a depleted Ravens secondary. But as we've been saying for a while now, Mark Andrews was again just spectacular, having a career day. Eight receptions, 125 yards, one TD. He's 15 yards away from the single season reception record for the Ravens, which is substantial. And he's doing it now on his third quarterback, going on to Josh Johnson. And, and as we look at the film, you're gonna see some of the effects, obviously, how everybody has to account for Andrews. The first play we're looking at is kind of interesting. The Cincinnati Bengals got very, very creative with their pressure packages. Obviously seeing people having success with pressure against the Ravens. We've seen this action before. Uh, where you see the, the 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 back coming back, Andrews usually slips out with this version of an RPO where the quarterback can keep it, can pull it out, and Cincinnati gets lost because of the pressure. Look how many people you have: the entire front seven, the backside corner, and safety all mesmerized by the fake, and the safeties and the corner at the bottom are bracketing. Brown at the bottom. So if there's one guy you don't want to leave uncovered, it's Mark Andrews. And he's totally uncovered on this play and obviously was a big play for them. A, 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 an extension of the fact of the run fake, the fact that they have to still respect that, and, and the fact that, uh, that Andrews is able to get open. Now you're going to see this is later in the game. It's virtually the exact same play. But again, they, the front seven has to respect the run fake. The DBs kind of get it sorted out. So now they're not going to leave Andrews totally alone. But the, uh, the safety comes way too flat. Andrew sees that go vertical. Nice job by Johnson recognizing that and getting the big play down the field. Excellent throw and a spectacular catch. You couldn't have gotten any closer to the sideline. So you can see it's an extension of the same play, but a little bit different result. All but great plays by Mark Andrews. Now the next play I'm showing you again. The Ravens are seeing a lot of different pressure packages. And this is one, this is what I call the Andrew effect. As you see this two by two, Andrew's at the slot at the bottom. I want you to watch the free safety and the middle linebacker and watch what they do on the snap of the ball. They immediately, and it's a pressure front, they immediately vacate and go to Andrew's side because they don't want to leave him one-on-one. -on -one. That free safety comes screaming down. He's there in case Andrews wants to make the move inside or out. The linebacker kind of gets frozen. And this leaves, this really kind of betrays the corner and the slot at the top on Bateman because there's no way he could. Bateman makes a nice move to the outside, comes to the inside, looked like the DB thought he was getting help, but that free safety had bailed out of there to account for Andrews. So again, here's a play of the Andrews effect leads to a touchdown for Bateman. Now on this next one is interesting. This is an example of the kind of pressures that they saw all day against Cincinnati. This is a full out six man pressure. The line actually does a good job because this is an empty set. This is a three by two set. So you don't have enough blockers on a six man pressure. Uh, but the line works its way back. They match up man for man, do an excellent job. That's going to leave a free rusher off the edge, as we can see. But again, Johnson does a nice job of recognizing, okay, I'm a man short here. This is an empty set. I get to get the ball out uh, uh, very, very quickly. And he does a nice job of doing just that, getting the ball off to uh, Wallace with an easy completion on the inside, recognizing that, uh, that he's got to get the ball off as quickly as he can. This next play shows you how creative and how exotic Cincinnati got. We just showed you a couple pressures and how they handled it. This one's interesting. It looks like it's also going to be a pressure. And it looks like, and it's an empty set, so it's a three by two. Looks like they're going to be man across the board. But at the last second, they bail out. It ends up just being a four-man rush. The linebackers drop out. The free safety sprints to the middle of the field. This is just going to be a three-deep zone. Here again, Johnson does a very nice job. The linebackers settle. Andrews recognizing what has happened with the coverage just kind of falls into the vacated zone right at the top of the numbers where the safety had just left. So great job by Andrews recognizing the change in coverage and also by Johnson recognizing it and really doing a nice job throwing the ball into Andrews for a big play right at the numbers. So again, Cincinnati being very exotic, and I thought the Ravens, and in particular Johnson, did a good job. And I've got to go to this last touchdown. This, this is spectacular. You know, we've seen this many, many times where you see Andrews cross the field. Andrews is at the bottom of the field in a semi-bunch. He's off the ball. The two receivers of the slot are going to run kind of clearing routes. 
Now, what he does is he start rather than just head across the field, watch what Andrews does. He makes it looks like it's going to be a shallow cross across the field. So he gets the coverage to come up and then he jogs and takes it deeper into one of those deeper crossing routes that we see time and time again. Johnson does a nice job. The right guard gets beat. It's getting bored down on him. This route obviously takes a little while. He throws just an incredible ball in behind the linebacker, in behind the corner, and in front of the safety. Great route, great catch by Andrews, but really just a magnificent throw by Johnson. So in all but a disappointing loss, some really good things uh, by Johnson and what he did coming in uh, for, for Huntley and obviously who was in, in place of Lamar Jackson. Uh, Mark Andrews having a spectacular day. They're going to need it now. They're in that bubble in the playoff picture, working for that seventh spot. Of course, they're not out of it for the AFC North yet. Cincinnati's got to do some things, but they got tough duty with the Rams coming on. And if you thought Joe Burrow was hot, Matthew Stafford's playing very, very well. He's on pace for better than 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns. The Rams are playing very well. At home, the Ravens are going to have to kind of regroup and play a very good Rams team to stay in this playoff hunt.